I want you guys to say hi to Remy, but I don't want to bring her in the kitchen. Hi. Oh, so good. This vlog ended up becoming a mess. Muy a la vi, solita, pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Cómo hacerlo, mami, controlando Hola, and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 3.36. Okay, you got it. 3.36 a.m., I woke up around three o'clock. I took a shower. I put my hair in a ponytail. I moisturized a little bit, but I'm about to start my makeup for the gym. And I just need to talk to you guys really quick. And this is not easy to talk about. I want to be fully transparent with you guys about all of it, especially the ugly parts. It is currently October 5th. I was supposed to start my cut on the 1st and just due to such a busy schedule, not getting around to doing groceries and cleaning out my fridge. And I have two of my best friends visiting from other states. One of them I haven't seen in 10 years. And then the other one, it's just been a couple months. So I'm going to be totally honest with you. This has been the worst start to a cut ever. No, I'm just kidding. That, that's really dramatic, but I will say this. Because of my schedule, I had to start meal prepping on the first instead of actually starting on the first. And then my girl best friend came on Tuesday, which was one day after. And I'm not gonna lie, I still wasn't in that go hard mindset. And I went out with her and we had some fast food and I hadn't done that in a while, but it was kind of one of our traditions. So it was kind of hard to say no. I wasn't in the headspace to be like, eh. And then my guy best friend that I haven't seen in 10 years, he's been one of my best friends since I was 13. <laughs> he and I went out last night and I binged, not gonna lie. I ordered like two plates for myself, plus a dessert and the whole nine. And I ate a lot of it. So part of me is proud, I'm like, go you girl. But I kind of saw it as, okay, after this, I need to like get into this. Because I almost sat there and I almost really like felt so ashamed and guilty or indulging while I was with my best friend. I felt as if I let myself down in a sense. Like you did not keep promises to yourself twice this week. But you know what? Sometimes life happens. Sometimes your best friends come around that you haven't seen in years and you have to be okay with being like, I'm gonna live in this moment. And I'm tired of being upset with myself and shaming myself. So therefore I'm not doing it anymore. I had to shut that voice up very quickly. So I'm officially naming today the first day of the cut. It's also 3 a.m. So don't forget, I may look a little wild right now. I don't have any makeup on, whatever. And I may sound a little groggy and I'm a little puffy. I just woke up. And mind you, I was with my guy best friend up in Boston, which is like an hour and some change away from me. I got home at like 11 o'clock at night and I woke up at three. So wh where are we going with this? <laughs> Nonetheless, welcome to day one of my cut series. I am going on a journey. I decided to do a keto diet. It is what worked for me the last time when I first started this journey, my fitness journey that is. But this time what I'm gonna strive for is a keto slash low carb type of diet. And what I mean is this, it's going to be low carb, but I'm going to aim for my carbohydrates to be as close to keto friendly as possible because I don't wanna look at the number on the carbohydrate scale when I am logging it into my Senza app and being like, oh, you went over two carbs. Grr, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to say it's gonna be keto slash very low carb. My calorie threshold will be around 1700 calories daily. I do use the Sensa app to log all of my macros and food intake. And I'm going to take you all with me through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Without further ado, speaking of ugly, let's get this face on. No, I'm just kidding. I'm beautiful regardless of what anybody guys say. I don't care. Bye. <laughs> Te quiero pecar flotando en la piel Es que a veces no hay más veces Baby, tú siendo fiel a qué Lo que dice él Pero él no te dice la noche 
I just wanted to reiterate something before I continue on and finish up this makeup. One, don't judge me because I will be putting on lashes because I feel like mascara doesn't really show when I'm vlogging. So I end up putting on lashes the days I usually vlog unless I'm really just not feeling it. And two, and this is pretty important, I need to correct something I just said a little earlier. I take back what I said about saying that I binged yesterday. Because now that I think about it, just because I ate carbs even though I told myself I wouldn't, that's not binging. Did I eat a lot of food? Absolutely. But... I ended up taking food home that I left in my car, so now it's going in the trash. But I stopped eating when I was comfortably full. I know myself and when I used to binge, I would do it even after that point, to the point that I literally felt like I would throw up. I would feel exactly like a personified depiction of what gluttony is. So I want you to remember that there is a difference between binging and indulging with your friends and memories and moments and try your best to perfect your discernment between the two. I just had to correct that because I didn't like the way I kind of depicted myself or talked about myself just now. I'm human, we're human, and I forgive myself for that. I had a good time with my friends and I'm not gonna feel sorry about it. But now it's back to grind mode. Now all my haters should be scared of me. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Alright, so now that I'm more awake and look more awake, we are gonna make some breakfast really quick before I head to the gym to meet up with my friend. Yeah, it's 4.23. I'm going to make yogurt mason jars. So basically, I'll show you how I make them. So let's have some breakfast and I'm gonna pack my bag really quick too. All right, so we're in my kitchen. It is a very small kitchen, so I know a couple of you have asked for some recipes that I eat that are high protein. I don't think I'll be filming them in this kitchen because it's so small and I want you to see the stove top and all this other stuff um, and the countertops. So I might just film those at my dad's house. He has a way bigger house slash kitchen, so I can probably show you more there. But anyways, so these are the yogurt bowl mason jars. I bought 12 of these at Walmart and basically what goes into them because I'm kind of in a rush for time. I have to be out of here in like 20 minutes. Looks at imaginary watch. So I'll show you what I just put into it. It's very simple. Usually in the mason jars, I will put one of the ratio yogurts. You can use whatever flavor you like. I like strawberry and blueberry. Usually has 25 grams of protein. I wanted to gatekeep them, honestly. If you ever go to a grocery store near me and they're missing, it's likely because I took them. Two, I usually use some type of non-fat plain Greek yogurt as well with this. So I'll mix in one of the ratio and then three fourths cup of this, which is one serving. And that gives me a total of, there's 16 in here, 25 in here. Oh my God, it's too early for math. And I'm really good at math. Hold on, oh my God. That took way too long. Anyways, it's 41 grams, okay? 41 grams of protein. And then I usually top it with whatever I like, but because I am trying to do the lower carb, I'll usually just do some blueberries or strawberries and just a hint, like a little dash of regular granola. I could use almonds and stuff like that as well, which are less carbs, but there's this protein granola that I use. Hold on. This right here. Oh, so good. <laughs> um, so it is peanut butter fader, peanut butter flavored protein granola. This is what it looks like. It is so good. It has 10 grams of protein in it. I'm not going to be using a full serving, which is half a cup. I'll probably just use half of that. And again, like I said, I am not so insanely worried about actually making this keto, if I'm completely honest. Like, I'll try my best to get close to it because I understand how ketosis works. Of course, like I said in my first video, I did it the first time. Here, I'm just more so striving for discipline. And you do not need to cut carbs or even go low carb to have an effective fat loss journey, okay? Let me just say that right here. This is just what I chose to do. And it worked for me. So do with that information what you must. You don't have to follow me. I threw in my blueberries and my granola. I'm gonna have a little bit of this and I'll probably finish it after my workout just because I'm a little bit late. <laughs> but it is delicious. I would say that the non-fat Greek yogurt, instead of buying multiple of the tiny containers, that have flavor in them. I just use the non-fat Greek yogurt to allow for more substance and quantity. <laughs> it does dilute the flavor just a tiny bit, but I think it's still delicious. I used to put honey in them when I was not on a low carb type of thing, but now I usually will just use like a no sugar syrup or whatever, or I won't put anything at all. It tastes good as it is. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys what I do before a workout, which is basically make my collagen mixture. It's collagen pre-workout and creatine. 
and then I'll usually mix it with some type of like crystal light or something just for flavoring purposes. A little tip, if you use collagen powder and it clumps up on you, start off with some warm slash hot water. It'll actually allow the collagen to melt a little bit and then I'll just put in some ice. Okay, let's get to it. Un secreto, ya no es un secreto. Pero en secreto como las pacas de un arco Sos exclusivo a baby pa' ti todo el palco Yo a ti te canto toda la noche entera No te coseo y te como entera yeah. Si pestañeas yo vengo a robarte No somos pintores pero hacemos arte En ese encaje que yo quiero darte yeah. Basta de imaginarte I decided to omit the crystal light for this one just because the pre-workout itself has flavor in it already. It's like a green apple flavor, but I digress. All right, so now I am ready to go. I'm gonna head to the gym now to work out with my friend Brittany. I'm, we're gonna hit some chest and I'll probably see you after. Bye. <laughs> Como le digo que ya deja ese cabrón Que tener ese cuerpito es una bendición Y no lo desperdicias en cualquiera Menos por... All right, everyone, so we are now in the CrossFit room of my gym. I just finished a chest day. It was a pretty good workout. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching, finish up my protein shake, work on my schedule on my computer a little bit, and just get a little productive before I head back home. Te quiero pecar, baby, toca camellar para robarte como la casa de papel. No es un secreto que quiero darte escondidas. Yeah. No es un secreto que he guardado pose solo para ti. No es un secreto que lo sacar en tu vida. Yeah. No es un secreto. Como le digo que ya deja ese cabrón Que tener ese cuerpito es una bendición Y no lo desperdicias en cualquiera Menos por patos que ya no te quieran Dos copas de vino, una noche en motel Perfume Valentino, pantecito Chanel El ambiente está fino y se olvida de él La noche conmigo son para gemer Te atraso, te conformas con lo que da él Te quiero pecar, baby, toca camellar para robarte como la casa de papel. No es un secreto que quiero darte escondidas. Yeah. No es un secreto que he guardado pose solo para ti. No es un secreto que lo sacaré. What's up everyone? So we are back in my kitchen. This is a different angle, just trying it out. So I'm about to have some lunch. While I eat my lunch, I'll just play all of my meal prep for the week. So what I'm gonna have for breakfast this week will be yogurt mason jars, as you already saw this morning. I will show them, but I won't show how I made them because I did show you this morning. For lunch, I have turkey, pepperoni, and cheese wraps with protein chips. And for dinner, I have six ounces of grilled slash baked chicken and some green beans. I say grilled because I grill them first on this grill skillet that I have, and then I bake them to finish it off. I tried to go light with some seasonings, even though it's definitely against my culture, my bloodline. <laughs> they still tasted great, and I feel so super satisfied, but not overly full by the end of the day. Now, don't think that this is gonna be a YouTube video that's like super aesthetically pleasing and all this stuff. I'm a regular human being with a tiny ass kitchen, not great lighting, and this is regular food that I make myself with my own hands, okay? I don't got no chef making that stuff for me, but it does the trick and I get all my protein in. And actually, although my minimum amount of protein intake is usually about 170 a day, and that's the goal, I usually hit around 190, 194 I actually hit yesterday. So that's probably what it will be at for the week. <laughs> because I eat the same thing every day for seven days. I'll put up the macros on the screen, and if I happen to mess up and forget, I'll be showing my screen on my Senza app once everything's already logged for the day. Next week, I will try my best to log a week two of the cut series and let you guys know how I'm feeling, because let's say I do achieve a ketosis process, I likely might experience what's called the keto flu. I did experience it the last time I chose to do keto, and that headache was something serious. <laughs> but I'll let you guys all know that in the next video. Oh, also, I almost forgot to mention the next time that you see me, we'll be at the gym again. So I'm going to have some lunch, edit a little bit, and then I'll get ready for the gym probably around 4, 4.30 around there. So that's what you'll be seeing next. Enjoy watching the food being made, okay? That's it. 
Te atreves o te conformas con lo que da él Te quiero pecar flotando en la piel Es que a veces no hay más veces, baby, tú siendo fiel ¿A qué? Lo que dice él pero él no te dice la noche de motel Que tanto te amo no te quiso responder Que prefiero una grupi y a tener tu piel cuando lo vas a ver No es un secreto que quiero darte escondidas yeah. No es un secreto que he guardado pose solo pa' ti No es un secreto que lo sacaré en tu vida yeah. No es un secreto Pero en secreto como las pacas de un arco Sos exclusivo a baby pa' ti todo el palco Yo a ti te canto toda la noche entera No te coseo y te como entera yeah. Si pestañeas yo vengo a robarte No somos pintores pero hacemos arte En ese encaje que yo quiero darte yeah. Basta de imaginarte Te atreves o te conformas con lo que da él Te quiero pecar baby toca I got really excited and I started working out with my friends and I did not record anything, <laughs> but I am so happy to be back home. I'm gonna go home and eat dinner now. What's up everyone? So I am back home, finally. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little something. It's seven o'clock on the dot right now. I'm going to my friend's house. We're just gonna have a little get together. So I'm gonna eat really quick. I'm trying to get a hang of this like YouTube thing. I don't know if it's working or not, honestly, but I'll figure it out, I guess. Bon appetit. De un arco, yo sé que si voy a beber pa' ti todo el palco. Yo a ti te canto toda la noche entera. No te coseo y te como entera. Yeah. Si pesañea, yo vengo a robarte. No somos pintores, pero hacemos. All right, I just got back from my friend's house. I am exhausted. I'm already past my scheduled time to go to bed. Yes, I have a schedule. I have a bedtime. So I'm gonna go shower really quick, wash my face, get ready for bed. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Ella puso un casting para los que valoran Si no es seguro, pues no es